Today, Maya took a turn for the worst. Maya is, she is the matriarch of TDK line. I mean, she's the foundation of pretty much everything. Marlon had Maya before I met him. This is the hardest decision to make ever. Like, when is the time? Yeah, I mean, without Maya, DDK would be nothing, and, you know, there's no hope. Maya's the OG. She's Hulk's great-great-grandmother, and she's the dog who started it all. I got Maya um, when she was, like, 10 weeks old. I didn't know nothing about dogs or anything at that point, really. She was with me through every last bit of that. I was homeless at first and she was a little puppy. Homeless by not, <clears throat> not because I like didn't have the money to be anywhere. I was homeless by the choice of the matter of I couldn't find anywhere that would accept me with five dogs, you know? So I would have rather lived nowhere than live somewhere without them. She became the staple foundation of DDK9. Our guys, canines, mice, foundation, everything right there. See where the body comes from. Oh, yeah. It's female. <coughs> There's not a dog in my house other than Roxy and Callie that is not related to mine. This is the wall of fame, I guess you could say. This is just all, basically all the, the pedigrees of the dogs, you know, that I have. Um, you know, where it's all started. You know, that's why we landed here on, on the, you know, the matriarch, Maya. I just became obsessed with dogs, you know, with just like the, uh, the idea of that, like, you know, I could, you know, change something about a dog that I thought might be able to be a little bit better. So I just kind of become very intrigued with the project of, of you know, creating my own style of dog, you know? I scoured through the internet and, and the more I started to see, the more I started to realize that I came across a lot of these taller, big dogs. And at the time, people were very afraid of dogs that were tall. It was all about like the bully looking, kind of shorter dogs. If they were shorter, that's why people want them. I always knew that with height carries weight, you know? So the journey began. You know, so I did my first breeding with Maya. I saw what she could produce. I saw what she could give me. I could just point out some of the dogs that wouldn't exist. You can see I started here. This is one of Maya's first litters. Um, this is Cassius and Maya. So they created Mia, who is uh, somewhere around here, right there. So Cassius and Maya, that little brown dog in the front is this dog here, who grew up and got quite big. So we bred Mia to General and they created Gianna. So that's where Gianna came from. Um, and then we took Gianna and we bred Gianna to Ghostface and that is where Hulk came from. Maya's almost 13, and about a year ago, she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. We don't know how long she has left. She's just so old that it's like she can't, she won't make it through a surgery. She won't make it through anything like that, so it's just like trying to keep her as comfortable as possible, but she's, uh, She's on different pain meds and stuff for their joints, but she's just, she's just an old girl. Today, Maya took a turn for the worst, and um, I think this might be the end. Marlon's pulled up a um, bunch of old pictures of Maya, so he's called us into the office. Kids, Steve, me. So we're just gonna spend some time looking at pictures and videos of her. It me, I, you know, I gave her, that means, you know, it means female warrior, that's what it meant. And she, I mean, you know, she just, 
was like the best mom ever. She lived a long life, you know, it's a long time. She's still here. I don't know, it's just too much. I never thought I'd be looking at, you know, go back. I never thought I'd be looking at these pictures like my like main dog that I had, you know, from the beginning. And she was like where everything started. I knew this was coming. I watched it. I've been watching the decline, and it's just, you know, I don't know, people can judge and say whatever they want, but that's, it's, this is the hardest decision to make ever. Like, when is the time? So we decided that she's going to be okay through the night, and we wanted to have just one last night with her. We're going to pull the mattress into the living room and sleep on the floor with her and just kind of cuddle with her all night. <laughs> And I'll be right there next to her if anything changes. And I'll bring her in in the morning and I'll try to have somebody come here to be honest. I'd much rather that. Yeah, I'd rather have it's just She would longer. just for her, I don't want her to have to go through the whole oh, she does so she does love the car, you know, she does love the car. She'd go for a car ride. But Yeah, we're just gonna go on it. Go to bed hopefully soon and play with her. Just have to just share energy with her for one last night. She seems happier out here right now. And she loves the water, so I'm gonna Maybe she'll want a little hose down. So Maya did okay through the night, but um, we're definitely gonna have to bring her to the vet today. Hi, Christine, this is Lisa Grennan. Um, I, we had spoke earlier about the home visit. Um, I was wondering, my husband changed his mind. Is there any way you guys would still be able to come? No. Okay, no problem. I told him that it might, it might not. Um, still be okay. No problem. Thank you very much. All right, bye. Marlon's at the hospital to get his finger looked at. Um, he should be leaving pretty soon, though, so I'm hoping he'll make it to the vet in time because he needs to be there for this. Marlon? Marlon? You're going to be there. I will figure out. Yes, we are going to make it. Marlon had I have before I met him, so it's important that he's there. I mean, this is like one of his first dogs. So he needs to be there for her and for himself. She needs him there. Good girl, come on. Come on, Maya. Come on, girl. By the time I finish this, I'm, he should be here, so I think he's going to make it just in time. I mean, there's so many. She was just a funny, she's a super guilty dog. She was one of those dogs that when she got in trouble, she would just like completely show you. She'd be like upside down in the corner, like tail, tail going. Tail, her tail. And he'd walk in the room and he'd be like, hmm, I wonder which one of these dogs is the one that got into the trash. And it was pretty easy mm -hmm. to, to find out. Somebody broke something. Let's go see who did it. Did you? Did you? You did, didn't you? She wiggled so much that her tail her would whip tail. her in her sides. Yeah. Her yeah. butt would just you go back and forth it. and it would whack her own self. And she hit you with it. Oh, that tail was a baseball bat.
Yeah, she started getting a lot more immobile, and then since yesterday, she like the first time I seen her like almost like fall down and just lay peeing. Because that looks like a really big abdominal mass there. I can help with her comfort. I can help with arthritis. I can't make that go away. She just like cries in the night. It's just like yeah. it's just sad. Yeah, I don't want so her to hurt. I just don't want her to hurt yeah. anymore. I I love her. I don't want her to hurt anymore. We brought her in, and um, Marlon and I and Steve were there, and we all just <laughs> pat her and hugged her and told her how much we loved her. Dogs, they gave me everything, everything in life. They, they gave me her, they gave me my ch they gave me everything. I just, I would have nothing without them. So, I, I honestly don't, I wouldn't know who I was without a dog. Good, bro. Love you, dog, for real. You're always there for me, bro. Now you got to shit, shit, bro. I'm glad I can get over my mind. For real. In the end, it was the kindest thing that you can do is to let her go. She had a really good life. <laughs> it's always heartbreaking losing a dog. <laughs> I'm glad that I spent one night with her, though. I'm glad I didn't. Glad you stayed with her if she wanted you there, she wouldn't have wanted it any other way. <sighs> no, no, no. <laughs> One of the dogs that might not have been as well known at DDK, but was definitely the most important, is Maya. She has to have been the sweetest dog like that ever walked the earth. It was perfect for, for what for what she did. She was like the glue, you know? She's just like the matriarch. She just she just kind of held everything together. Her memory lives on and we'll never forget her. Thank you.